Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, March 17. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The average hotel occupancy has been around 36% through the month of March. However, hoteliers in Los Cabos expect to see an average occupancy of 40% during Holy Week and Easter, said Lilcy Orsi, executive president of the Los Cabos Hotel Association. She explained that most of the tourists seen currently enjoying the beaches and tourist attractions of Los Cabos are spring breakers, but an increase in national tourists is expected during Easter. Orsi mentioned that exit polls show that tourists feel comfortable and safe in Los Cabos due to the prevalence of sanitary preventive protocols in place at hotels, restaurants, and other establishments. The executive president of the Los Cabos Hotel Association remarked that hotels continue to apply COVID-19 detection tests to their collaborators, with more than 14,000 tests having been applied to date. As the COVID-19 number of cases continues to drop in the municipality of Los Cabos, the health authorities for the state of Baja California Sur issued recommendations to continue to observe and practice all social distancing and prevention protocols in order to avoid a sudden increase in the number of cases after Holy Week and Easter, as was the case in January after the Christmas and year-end holidays. Julio Castillo Gomez, president of the Coordinating Council of Los Cabos and head of the COVID-19 work group in Los Cabos, reiterated that the risk of an increase of infections and hospitalizations is latent. For this reason, he said, the authorities will continue to patrol all neighborhoods, business and tourist areas alike in order to reinforce the strict implementation of all social distancing protocols. Los Cabos has a world-class tourism industry, which must be declared an essential activity due to the amount of jobs it generates. Lil C. Orsi, executive president of the Los Cabos Hotel Association, pointed out that this designation was requested months ago, and it is expected that employees who have direct contact with guests will be taken into account for prompt application of the COVID-19 vaccine. She explained that for the moment, the business sector will not be able to purchase vaccines against COVID-19 since pharmaceutical companies are dedicating their entire production to fulfill government contracts. She pointed out that the federal government has important contracts to receive enough vaccines for the entire population of Mexico. Nevertheless, once the vaccines are released for sale to individuals, the private sector will see about getting them. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Ricks and Claudia Vela.